How's everyone doing? This is William J. And we are here once again with another episode of Talking in the Attic. I'm so glad that everybody took their time to be here with me and just listen in on my pod. Ah, man, hear a little thunder outside. It's pretty nasty out there, but we're doing well because we're inside listening to yours truly. But anyway, look, I hope by now you've had a chance to pick up a copy of my first book. It's entitled Why Not? If you haven't, it's on Amazon. It's in paperback, Kindle form as well. And also check out my previous pods. They're on Apple, Spotify, Google, as well as Anchor. And subscribe so you can be alerted to whenever a new segment is released. Now, let's move forward into today's episode. So today, I want to talk to you about transition. And I chose transition because while we're on this journey, you have to understand that life is full of changes. And these changes, they can be predictable or unpredictable. So when you think about the ones that are predictable, you think about the ones that include repetition, such as the seasons changing, for instance, you know, fall going into winter, spring to summer throughout the day, you know, daylight comes in its nightfall or just the aging process from being born as an infant to now an adult. And then you move towards the ones that are unpredictable. You know, these are the ones that are unexpected, they're stressful, and often they really can be quite scary. You know, think of like a tragic loss of a friend, a family member, a car accident, losing your job. Those are the things that they either put you on edge or they throw you over the edge. And check this out. I was listening to a TED talk where the keynote speaker, he used the term that pretty much summed up life's transitions and he called them life quakes. And I was like, life quake, life quake, like earthquake okay got you you know it was interesting because when you put the two together it makes perfect sense you think about it an earthquake it destroys buildings landscapes it completely devastates whatever is in its path and a life quake it sends a shock to your norm it's like it throws you completely off of your life's plans it leaves you confused stressed and you're just a total wreck and trust me i'm just like everybody else I've had my share of life quakes throughout my life, and I know that there are plenty more on the horizon, but that's nothing I fear. See, that's something that I've grown to be comfortable with because I understand that life is not linear. See, these unsettling moments, they're definitely uncomfortable, but throughout these changes, I started to look at to see what is life preparing me for? or I try to decipher the message within it. You know, it has, it's a lesson. And when you begin to examine the realities associated with these changes, this is gonna help you prepare mentally, emotionally, and in many, many other ways. Like for instance, let's say you're preparing to relocate to a new state. On the positive side, let's see what you got. You have the potential to get a new home, new friends, new employment, possibly educational opportunities and a chance to make a fresh start and reinvent yourself. Now, let's look at the potential negatives. You're leaving your current support system of friends and family behind. You're facing the unknown and the stress of being displaced and the financial burden associated with making a major move. So you're now thinking, what can I do to alleviate some of the stress associated with this challenge? Hmm, how will I take advantage of these new opportunities? Like, this is a new change, and what does this present to me? And for the record, I'm not saying that this is the only criteria for transition to change in your life. So you can apply this to whatever is taking place in your life. Now, you gotta start making a list of the positives and the negatives that you expect from this situation. Then you gotta carefully think through and start trying to figure out how am I gonna deal with each of them? You know, and planning. And planning is everything. See, planning is vitally important because you think through the possibilities of what you may face and develop a new strategy for dealing with them. And in doing so, you prepare yourself for what lies ahead. And the most important thing is that planning is setting goals. And as you're starting to examine these possibilities associated with your change in circumstances, you got to think about what do you want from this phase in life? Then you got to decide how you're going to achieve those goals. See, it helps to start at the end and start working backwards. 
And once you've decided what you want with your life and what you want it to look like post transition, that's when you start determining what you need to do now to make your wants a reality. But look, I'm not just going to make it seem like that's the only thing you got to do. There's something else you have to begin doing. It's something I had to teach myself over time. And that's what starting to becoming OK with being uncomfortable. And it's no ways about it. All growth is uncomfortable and transition is a part of growth. And it's scary when you think about getting tossed out of your comfort zone. And it's even scarier when you purposely plan to leave your comfort zone. But that discomfort, it's inevitable because you're searching for a way to reach your goal. You're charting out a new way for success. You got to acknowledge that discomfort and do not deny it. Trust me, it's going to go a long way towards making the in-between times bearable. And another thing you have to do is start with baby steps. Take one step every day towards the direction of your goal. Even though it's small and minor growth, it works because these small steps will gradually expose you to new experiences. And you'll have the experience of doing, which builds confidence and helps you build skills to deal with future problems and everything else that comes with being outside of your comfort zone. As always, man, I can't sit and say that I have all of the ingredients that will help you. But what I do believe is that I've gotten you off to a decent start. So I'm going to wrap this up. But let me close with this. Many people I found they prefer the easy road. They prefer to stick with the status quo and to resist the unknown. They want to stay comfortable. Today's world is disruptive and accelerating you got to use it to change your relationship and change the relationship that you have with being comfortable life isn't only about creating safety and security and pursuing contentment life is filled with pleasure pain satisfaction and difficulty as well as disappointment when you focus only on the comfort side of the picture you cut yourself out from the human experience dr king said it best the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in a moments of comfort, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. And once again, this is William J. with another episode of Talking and Adding, and I'm gone.